myself in the country, in the world. I'm Pastor Paul Amadou Bangura from Sierra Leone, a Sibana community. Uh, the school has been open. As you can see, it is being sponsored by our sister, Sister Faith, Faith Webb. And we believe by her help and support and other partners, we come together to support this work. As you see, it, we just started. We have more in our vision through our sister, Sister Faith, so that she can do more and more for the part for the, for, for this part of the country. Okay, how will this school help the community? Uh, this school has been a, a good blessing for this community because it has been a long time that these people have been crying for having a, 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 a learning center, a school. Because if you can see, they have different communities around that are benefiting now in, upon this school. Before this time, children used to walk for miles for them to go to find education. but. For, for, for this school to be established here, it's a blessing to us, the parents, the people, the community people. It's more blessing. Why is education so difficult in Sierra Leone? Uh, education is so difficult in Sierra Leone because not everybody that can afford that standard of education in this part of uh, the, the world. Because Sierra Leone, as we're as we talking now, government is talking about free education. But things are not free because the cost of living is very high for the parents. As I'm talking to you, <coughs> many children stay at home because they don't have good food, they don't have uniform, they don't have learning materials, the parents cannot afford. Some parents are just working on sustenance farming. When they work, they, they farm, whatever they farm, they eat. They don't have any, any money to save for them to send their children to quality uh, institution, like this one that our sister faith has established for us. Once these children have an education, how will that improve their lives? Well, that will be a very good thing because we have a slogan in Sierra Leone that you educate a child, you educate a future. That, 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 of that child. Because when, they, when, when somebody be educated, he or she will be self-reliance. He will be able to upkeep herself. And I believe by them coming to here and having their education and learning, that will help them to become self-reliance, to become responsible uh, people in the future of their life. How can people in America help Sierra Leone? Well, um, I want to talk to the people, the donors in America to partner with our sister, Sister Fit Web. We believe with her heart, and other people that can come, they will be able to make this thing a success. Because we believe if people come together and support the vision of our sister, we vow and we, and we promise that this help will not go in vain, not go in the drain. We make sure we use every resources that is coming upon this nation uh, to, to, to in the best of our interest. And I believe, I ask the people of America, people of the US, for them to put hand on deck with our sister and the web, web family, for them to be able to support the children. They are, big, they are less privileged children, in this part of the country that has suffered. Is there anything else you'd like to tell the people of America that I did not ask about? Yes, people of America, we are happy. We are happy, we are happy because having uh, the web family here is like we're having America here. And we see the hand, the things that we have been doing for the past years. So we're still asking for more donors. We still ask for more partners that are able to partner with our sister, with the web family, so that they can able to come and help more and more. We need help. We need support for our children. There are many kids that are, that, if you can think, during the Ebola, we have many orphans. We have many orphans during the most life that are left behind. Sierra Leone is a, is, is a country that has been suffering a lot from the war. We have the Ebola, we have the most light. All these things give us a backdrop of, of, of how life is difficult in our nation. We have to ask the people of America, people of the U.S., please come, come on board with our sister, Sister Fit Web and the web family so you can support people of Sierra Leone. I want to thank you every, I want to thank you very much. Right, since you're a pastor, how is it a Christian's duty to help Sierra Leone? Yes, um, that is one thing that I'm happy because I believe having these children groom them in a primary school, by the time they enter the secondary level, they become good Christian, they become perfect Christian. We, uh, and this school is not only for learn, uh, just educate, but we want to impart these children into Christianity. We want to show them the, the, the love of Christ upon their life. That is why we, uh, our sister came and brought this school. And we believe as a pastor, being the manager of this school, I will, I will make sure I propagate the gospel of Jesus Christ upon these kids. At the end of the day, Christianity will be propagated in this part of the nation. And one thing I want you people to know, the place where the school locates is a Muslim dominated place. So we are using this school for, for us to transform people from Muslimism to Christianity. And I believe this, this, this has been one of the best things for evangelism in our community. Okay, would you say like just a little short version of that again? Because if a truck went by, it will be on the phone.